Hey, what's up guys? This is Marseille, AKA the Property Pastor here with Kingdom Legacy Builders. And today I wanna to show you how to advertise your room rental so that you can find great tenants. You know, if you've decided how much you wanna charge for your rent, you, you purchased uh, a, a rooming house, you set it all up, now it's time to go live. It's time to find tenants and actually start getting this place full. So before we get started, if you have not done so, if you are not following the Property Pastor, you're missing out. Uh, we're bringing great content every single week. I want to help you to build your business. I want to help you to build your portfolio so that you can build that lasting legacy for your children and your children's children. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It means a ton to me. I want to make sure that we're bringing value to you so that you are benefiting from new content and new information. So let's go ahead and jump in, guys. The number one way that I believe to find tenants, the number one tool that I have in my arsenal is word of mouth. Now, just like going to a restaurant, if you go to a great restaurant and the food is awesome, you're going to tell somebody about it. You're going to tell people, you're going to invite them to go to it. You're a walking billboard for great products. And I believe that your tenants are your best source of new tenants. So if you get a tenant and they bring, you know, and they, they like it there, they love the way the property is maintained, or they love the price points, they love the amenities, they love the neighborhood, guess what? They are going to tell other people. So for me, the best tool to find tenants is the current tenant that you may already have. So if you have a four bedroom home and you have two tenants in there, those tenants are a great source to find others. Now in my business, one thing that I like to do is I actually incentivize my tenants. So what that means is that I have a referral program by which if a current tenant refers an, another, ten, another person who becomes a tenant, then I give them like a $75 bonus. And the reason I do that is because they, they're going to be a great source to find other people. If they've been a good tenant for me and they bring other tenants, I reward them for that. Now, I do have some restrictions there is that I, the, the new tenant has to stay at least three months before I will pay out that $75 bonus. But in doing so, my current tenants are always on the lookout for other people. And they're typically not going to invite people to live in a house that they don't want to live in. So when that happens, you're going to find people that get along better. You're going to find folks who are less drama and less issues. The next tool I want to talk about is social media and online platforms. Now, I love to advertise rooms on Facebook Marketplace. Um, I've used Zillow before. I've used Craigslist, roommates.com, all sorts of places. And I love these tools because they broadcast your room to a very wide audience. So a lot of people get exposed to the room. A lot of people see it. They're able to, to reach out to you electronically. You can set up showings and all of those things, but it allows your room to become highly visible to a lot of people. Now that's good and it can also be bad because you're gonna get a lot of folks who may think that the whole the whole house is for rent when actually you're only renting for the room. So you gotta be really specific in your description, in your, your posting, uh, but this is a great opportunity to get in front of a lot of people. Now as you list your room, make sure that you include a lot of pictures. You know, be sure that you get good quality photos with good lighting. You wanna have good pictures of the property. You wanna have good pictures of the room. You wanna showcase the, the bathrooms, the kitchen area. Uh, if there's laundry, washer and dryer, you wanna show all of that stuff. You wanna show the person what they're actually gonna be getting uh, when, when they rent a room. And then I also make sure that I include the price of the room and the security deposit amount. On top of that, it's very important to include all of your criteria. So if you require income, you know, certain things on income, uh, if you don't allow any evictions, uh, you want to make sure that you list all of that employment history, background check required. You want to make sure you list all of that in the description because that's going to weed out a lot of, of just wasted time and energy and phone calls. So do that upfront work and make sure that you're very specific in your post. And then also, I actually like to describe the other tenants. I like to describe the tenant situation. So, for example, um, I will say things like currently this house uh, is rented by three other males and you can't say that it's, we only rent to males, but if you specifically say that we have three other males renting the house, then a female may look at it and say, well, I don't want to live with all of these guys. It's going to smell like a locker room all the time. I don't want to live there. Or if you have all females, then a male may say the same thing. It's important that you kind of list out the demographics of the property of the other tenants so that as people are looking, you can actually cater your towards your ideal tenant without discriminating. Now, it's very important because gender and it is a it, that is a protected class and so you cannot go and say well i only rent to men or i only went to rent to women you can't do that because you put yourself at risk of discrimination but in your description if you say what the current situation is some of the tenants 
that don't want to live in that situation or that you don't want to live in that situation can be kind of weeded out right there. The last area that I recommend is yard signs and window signs. These are going to be the kind of signs that foot traffic is going to see. People who are driving by, they are going to see. Uh, and folks can see that, that the property has a room for rent. Now, if you do use yard signs, I highly encourage you to say room for rent. Because what will happen is that a lot of times people will think that the whole house is for rent and you'll get a lot of erroneous calls. People will call and say, hey, I want to rent this house. And you'll say, well, actually, I'm only renting a room. And it just kind of ends up being a little bit of a waste of your time. Uh, but it's important that you kind of list out, uh, you know, that you have a, a room for rent. And then as you're listing phone numbers, I highly recommend you to get a Google voice number set up, uh, have voicemail and those things so that folks can leave a message and you can get back with them. Now, I have a property manager uh, and my property manager screens all those calls and takes all those calls but if you were doing it yourself i would not list my personal number i would list the google voice number as well but yard signs are definitely a nice way to go the tricky parts with yard signs is that it has to be well placed it has to be highly visible and on top of that it's going to typically attract foot traffic so the person who's walking by may see it and they may not have a vehicle uh but that's okay that's not that doesn't mean they're a bad tenant at all but it's going to definitely be people who are only driving by the property so you're going to have a small market but those people will know the neighborhood uh, and they're, they're typically and i've gotten great tenants just from walk by traffic and drive by traffic as well now i do not recommend that you advertise in the newspaper now i used to advertise in a newspaper but unfortunately people just don't read the paper anymore and newspapers often charge a lot of money for their advertising section when i first started my business i was advertising in newspaper and getting very little success uh, i found that there were times where i was spending upwards of two to three hundred dollars a month for a single listing and really not getting the rate of return so with the advent of social media with the you know uh, facebook marketplace with craigslist with all of these different websites it exposes you to so many more places so many more opportunities and so many more people can see it so i really do not recommend that you advertise uh in the newspaper because it's just not worth it but again my favorite method of advertising my rooms is through word of mouth followed by social media those two have really been a great source of getting leads of getting people into our into our units uh, and, and finding great tenants so make sure you check out this next video which talks about whether or not you should self-manage a rooming house and i'm going to go and in, go into some of the pros and cons and some of the difficulties about managing and having a property manager with a rooming house